everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. As always, I'm Sam. And I'm Cody. And we're the duo who doesn't only do each other. That's <laughs> right. And we're back. We've been gone for over a, a month, long time. A long time. <laughs> we haven't done a video since July. We wanted to do this YouTube about the cruise specifically. <clears throat> and now that now that Cody's done a cruise and, and we're back. Gay and cruise. The gay cruise. <laughs> and just talk about that and that experience. So we met, we were in Rome the week before. So we actually met some people going on it. So we ended up getting in a, a van with them to the, the, the ship, which was nice because we were taking, going to take the train and apparently it's brutal. And we also have been traveling for a month. So we had like yeah. three bags a piece. It would have been yeah. horrible i guess we just hopped in a van with some strangers yeah. they just offered us some candy and we just hopped right no, in. not like that like a <laughs> shuttle van that they a sprinter van that they bought and we like <laughs> paid joined in on it yeah we know? made some friends before getting on the ship which was really cool and just we had some friends that we were meeting on the boat but having some friends that we met prior just going into it was really great i mean mm. i knew we'd meet people on the boat but going into it already meeting people prior and kind of making plans of like, oh, let's do dinner together. Let's do this and that. And and having just like a little friend group was great. Yeah, that was nice. So the cruise started leaving at a shit of each. How do you, I don't even know how you say that. Set of each. Set of, <laughs> yeah. And we like got there right, right when they opened and we just walked right through security, sat right down and we were like the first people on the ship. It was so nice. Mm -hmm. and we were supposed yeah. to sail away at like five, but the weather was so bad. Like the what is even the so weather? Shiny. Just the waves. The waves. Yeah. The waves. The the sea. And it turned into sea. it turned into like oh we're we're gonna leave at eight and then it turned into we're leaving at midnight and all of a sudden like at ten o'clock they're like actually we're not gonna be able to leave till five in the morning. I think we have like seven or eight in the morning. Yeah. So mm -hmm. our you know what's can be really what's really fun is I remember like you're on the boat at like five and then everyone's kind of by the pool and then the boat starts to leave and everyone's just like yeah celebrating mm -hmm. so we didn't get to do that but they still had like people were out on the pool. There was a DJ and we were yeah. all dancing, but there was just no sail away party. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, our first night on the ship, we were at the port. We slept at the port and yeah. then we left in the morning and we were supposed to go to Naples and we weren't going to make it to Naples. So they made that next day our, our first sea day mm -hmm. and they exchanged our first sea day, which was going to be, you know, like the fourth day or the third day. Third day. Yeah. Um, moved and it. they put Naples there. Yeah. Um, so we ended up going to Palermo first. Mm -hmm. Like we made the most out of every day for sure. Yeah. Like there was 20,000 things going on all day. And it's like, if you took a nap, even for like 20 minutes, you missed yeah. a show. Anytime or you're something. sleeping, you're missing something. Even yeah. if you're at a party, you're missing something else. Yeah. There's something on. else going on. Yeah. Um, so the first night they had, we saw someone called Lavoie and she is a drag queen that's been doing the Atlantis cruises for like, I think like 10 years or something. Mm -hmm. And she's a drag queen that she sings, she does comedy, and a lot of she was she on the was first season of Queen of the Universe, yeah, the singing drag show that RuPaul did, yeah, which I think is canceled now, but is it? I, think I never watched seasons. it, but it was kind of hard to get through. <laughs> but uh, she, she was so funny, like she just everything that she did was kind of in the moment, like the comedy stuff. You know, she yeah. made fun of how we weren't leaving the port and things like that. So mm -hmm. a lot of the comedy was very specific to what was happening. In the moment, yeah. which was funny. Yeah, she played off the audience a lot, yeah, and you know, she obviously had songs like ready and performed songs, mm -hmm. and then in between the music, she would talk to the crowd and kind yeah. of be like a comedian, and it was really, yeah, really well done. Yeah, and so that same night, we also saw someone called Leona Winter, and she was also on Queen of the Universe, and she was on season one. She was on the same season as Lavoie, and yeah, I think they actually sang against each other. I yeah, think. I think Lavoie said she sent her home. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Lavoie was Lavoie was sent home, and then they brought her back. Yeah, but Leona Winter was just singing, so she was a French queen, um, drag queen, and she purely just sang covers of some songs, yeah. and they were all really, really great. Yeah. Um, Didn't it say she was on The Voice or something too? She was on, let's see, it says right here. I have our little, I kept our little, they gave out a little day guide at each Called day. Called The Compass. Yeah, The Compass. And it literally lists everything going on that whole day. And, um, but yeah, it says she was on the French version of The Voice. Yeah. yeah. Wow, how did I remember that? Yeah. And so that night, the party. She was, sang Tattoo by Lorene, who just won, that song just oh, yeah. won Eurovision. And she sang Euphoria. No, she said, you. this next song that I'm going to sing is my favorite song. You've, her last song, Euphoria, used to be, but this is... No, but she yeah. did sing Euphoria. No, she sang Tattoo. Euphoria, forever till the end of time. 
<laughs> Maybe that, I'm wrong. I don't know. That it's night, very rare. that night, <laughs> that night was the party was themed. It's a small world, so everyone was supposed to come out dressed as like their country because you know you have people from all over the world. And I remember them announcing that because it's an American cruise ship production, and so there's like 2,000 Americans and then 1,300 other people from all across the world. So there was like well, like. You know, eighty Australians, fifty people from UK. You know, sixteen that kind of women, <laughs> sixteen uh, women. There yeah, we like, wore just like gym shorts, red, white, and blue tanks, and like a little like bandana headband. Thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We didn't really plan a lot for the looks, I, but it still looked fun. It still looked cute. <laughs> yeah, that day and that day. What did we? What did we do for dinner? Did we just? I think we ate in the buffet. Just to kind of talk about, we ate buffet. in the Windjammer. Yeah, yeah. Which is the Windjammer is the dining hall where it's more like a bunch of buffet area set up. Yeah, um, but it's all really great food. It's so like as far as buffet food goes, like I was pigging out because there's like a pasta bar, there was a dessert bar, and they asked potatoes bar. like two times a yeah. day for like nine days. Yeah, they, it was good, good food. But outside of the buffet, they have a dining area that you can go to between 6.30 and 8.30 that is seated. And what's really mm -hmm. cool is you can either do like a private table. So if we went, we could do just the two of us or we could say, oh, we want to sit with a group. Yeah. And then they would seat you with like, say, there's the two of us, they could sit us at a table of six and it would be like four people we didn't know. Yeah. And it's you a chance can, to meet people. And you can go to the buffet area or you can go to the dining hall. Yeah. I, any night, you know, we did the dining hall like every other night and it all is included with the price that you paid. You don't pay any extra unless you order, you know, a drink or you get it like, an, there's like items on the menu you can like upgrade to, you'd pay for that. Yeah. But like if you want to do yeah, lobster, but, but the other, all the food that comes with it is so good good, good so enough good. it yeah. was like amazing. steak chicken you know you know you get desserts you can order stuff. as many appetizers as you want it's it's amazing yeah. drinks weren't included you could do drink packages there was mm. like a water package or we paid 150 dollars for the soda, soda package, package for the week and it gives you this like kind of mug thing yeah there are soda machines all over the boat and only this mug works the soda machine so you can't put a normal cup in there we just got one plan like under my name and just shared the cup. Yeah, don't tell the cruise. Don't yeah. tell Atlantis. <laughs> no, there's no need to pay three hundred dollars no, for for, both. for soda for the I week. Know. That's insanity. We didn't do a drink package because we're we we didn't plan on drinking a lot of alcohol enough to where we yeah. needed a package. So we just you know ha if we wanted a yeah. uh, drink with dinner, we would just you know. Yeah, I only really drink with dinner, and then I drink like by the pool. Yeah. So, so day two was our sea day, which was supposed to be Naples, but it was our sea day instead. So we, which I love, we just woke up, we went by the pool. What, then there was the dog tag tea dance party. Yeah, tea dance is, party, which was fun, which was <laughs> our, fav my fav our favorite look. Was that Ryan Kenny? Or not Ryan Kenny, <laughs> Dan Slater that went to jail for that? Um, I, don't I, don't, I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't okay. remember. So the dog dance tea party is you dress up in like army camouflage that kind of stuff and then they hand out dog tags and you put a red green or yellow sticker and that symbolizes green is you're single and available or just available red means you're taken and not available and yellow means it's complicated yeah or <laughs> open i guess or open i don't know so it's just you know it's just a fun daytime party by the pool on the rooftop deck yeah and it's really fun. Yeah. And, and we did that like what's like four to seven. Or yeah. Something. So we did that. And then we went to the dining area mm -hmm. that night. And then we saw this comedian, Pam Ann. Yeah. But she was not a drag queen. She's not a drag queen. She's just this woman comedian. You know, if you ever, her name is Pam Ann. And if you ever know Pan Am, like is like, was like an airline. So it's kind of like a play on words. Um, and she did a lot of like, she pretended she pretty much was a flight attendant and we were like on her plane and like kind of make jokes and did like parodies of movies like she yeah. did a parody from sound of music and yeah that's right um, she was really raunchy yeah very raunchy <laughs> she was very she was funny but like sometimes it was so raunchy that it was like oh i mean i really liked it but people i remember talking to people later that night they're like ah, it wasn't her best because she's yeah. also another one she's been doing the cruises for years so she's just one of the staple performances that they get every time so other people that had seen her before yeah maybe just didn't care for this set as yeah. much. As and then that one. night we had the Empire Party where you dress as like it's like Greek Greek kind of people had togas on and yeah. we wore yeah. like white and gold. Um it was cute. Yeah, it was cute it was a cute it was a cute moment. Yeah. So that was day two and then day three we were in Palermo mm -hmm. and that day we got off the ship with our friends and we did the food tour. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't do an excursion with the ship. No. We our friend Adi found uh, like a local tour. Yeah. And it was a local guy who took us to a lot of the local, like, favorite restaurants mm -hmm. and wine places. So he, like, took us. We did, like, 
we did like wine tasting at one. We got like cheeses and wine at another. We got like actual like meal food at the one. Meal. Yeah. And and then we ended up with a gelato place, which was yeah. really good. Yeah. Um and that was kind of great because it kind of let us walk around the town and be kind of directed and shown things that we probably wouldn't have found on our own. This was the day it was heat. So this was like one of the parties that weren't themed. Um, but that afternoon there, that when we got back on the boat, we ate and then we even saw someone named Ruben K and he's just a Australian comedian and singer and very portrays himself, very non-binary. Yeah. You know, had like a suit jacket on, but then had this kind of like gown bottom. Yeah. yeah. So not a drag queen, no. but just like, yeah, very extravagant queer, male, queer performer yeah. and very funny, you know, got in the audience and did some really, yeah. you know, physical comedy as well as just a lot like Lavoy, where it was yeah. singing and then like comp, like yeah, he would sing and then he would play off the audience yeah. for a little bit. He was really good. Yeah, and we actually was, met him in person later. Yeah, we yeah. Were at one of the comedy mm-hmm. shows. I realized we were standing next to him, and I went to the bar, and he went to the bar, was next to me, just buying a drink, and I was like, oh my gosh, you were so good, and I was yeah. talking to him, and he it was his first time, first one, yeah, yeah, on the cruise. And he's like, oh, my God, I wish I had been able to be here for a couple of days because, like, like towards the end, because I could have, like, played off of things that had gone on on the ship. I remember him saying. I, yeah. I looked him up. He performs all over Australia. Yeah. Very, very big there, I think. And then we went to the heat party for, like, a little bit. Yeah. And then went to bed. Yeah. <laughs> so day four was really cool because that was when they had the surprise headliner, which ended up being years and years. So, which, yeah. So this day was initially supposed to be our day at sea, but... That actually we ended up going to Naples. Yeah. And Sumner and I, we literally got off the hey, ship off the boat for like, for like hour. two hours. We got some coffee and wine, an coffee and wine, bought some sunglasses and then got back on the ship. Yeah. And did we take a nap? Was that the pink party? Um, this was, no, we didn't take a nap because we had uh-huh. years and years at five. So we, um, we went and saw years and years. And then after oh, yeah. that was... Um, we had to go see the another production that was happening called The Book, which was like a... Oh, so cool. How would you categorize that? It was like a... It was almost like a musical. It had a, had a story had and a, a plot, line. but like no one really spoke. It was all it was all singing. So I guess, yeah, musical. Yeah. Oh, they acted out the yeah. storyline, but there was no talking. Yeah. There was no narration or anything. It was yeah. kind of like the guy would come around and move and make noises. Like, oh, yeah. ooh. It kind of <laughs> looked like he was like some sort of magical Magician, being yeah. and like open up a book and like stepped inside and like showed us kind of all the pain and stuff you went through for life. And then at yeah. the end, like, cl- like crawled back out of the book. But like people were like, or, like acrobatics were like coming from the ceiling. Yeah. You know, there was this, have you ever seen Lindsay Sterling and how she, oh, yeah. she is with her violin and Violinist, dancing around? Yeah. There was a girl like that. There was like this opera singer woman who came out, mm-hmm. lots of dancers. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was, oh yeah. What's it called? The contortionist. Yes. Yeah, she yeah. she was yeah. cool too. And that night they had karaoke, but we decided not to go because we were at the... Well, apparently the karaoke was every night. I mean, yeah, but this night it was like in the pamphlet at 11, and yeah. we were like, ah, we're not going to have the energy for that. But that same day there was like yeah. someone named Kimberly, like Nicole, who was performing, and there was a couples meet up that night. Like there's so much stuff going on that day. Yeah. Then um, the next day was... We got to see the Leaning Tower Pisa. That was cool. The next day was a, a Florence yeah. slash Pisa in Italy. So we did that. We got some pictures. I'll just put it on here. The pink party. We what happened by now? I don't. We missed it somewhere. But we missed the only. The only. Tea, we missed the pink party tea dance. I don't know what day it was, but we. That's slept um. It. It's uh. But there. Yeah, there was one tea dance that we missed. But this was the day that um. We skipped the. We got back from the piece, Lean Tower Pizza, and we were so tired. Yeah, we went to the Lean Tower Pizza. We yeah. took the you know photos of us like holding it yeah. up. If you go to our Instagrams, they're on there. But this was the day where we're like, we're like if you take a nap, you're going to miss something. We had a show that we're supposed to see called The Effectors, which was which we missed. Um, let's see. It says a spectacle using every possible piece of stagecraft to throw you in unexpected ways, including a mind bending indoor drone show. So I don't know exactly what it was cause we skipped it, yeah. but I heard it was it's really superhero cool. themed. I know yeah. That. And yeah. then there was a playground, like a neon party that night and you were so tired. That I you got, slept through. I went to an hour of it. Yeah. <laughs> I woke yeah. up at 3am. At the end, 3am, which was really cool. That's really, you could, 
go to bed and come to the party down. You could just walk upstairs and go to the party at like I was, two, three in the morning. And I it's like, oh, yeah. you didn't miss everything. You just yeah. were late. I wasn't feeling very well that day. Yeah. <laughs> the next day we saw, we skipped Nice. We didn't get off the boat for so, day six. Yeah, nice, nice is actually the only place in France we stopped, which yeah. I know some French. So I was excited for that stop. But you were tired. I was like sick tired still yeah. from the night before. Yeah. Uh, it just like lingered over into the next day. Yeah. And I just figured I wanted to enjoy the rest of the cruise. So I just needed to rest up. And that's the thing. Like it's a nine day cruise. We went, okay. the, we went on the arm above the ship. Oh, that was, no, that was the, after the Leaning Tower Pizza. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's so, this like, if you ever went to the London Eye and you, you know, which is a Ferris wheel and you have it. You're not sitting on it. It's like literally little balls and you go inside these glass balls and you can see the city. Well, there was one of those like glass balls on an arm on our ship and yeah. they raise it up as high as you can and you can see like the city that you're at and the ship and the ocean. And, yeah. and we did it. It was like 15 minutes. But it we was had to cute. make reservations for it. So we waited till yeah. that day to do and it. And reservations and all these shows and everything are included with the cruise. You know, none of this is extra. Yeah. Yeah. You don't so have to pay you, admission or anything. You did want to reserve because some of these shows went on at like 730 or 10. So you'd reserve which time you wanted to go to based off like yeah. when we went to dinner. So like years and years, they performed at six and then he performed again at 10 yeah. and we went to the six. So we show. recommend if you do a gate cruise, you know, as soon as you hook up to the ship Wi-Fi yeah. the first day, go through and just book all the shows for the week. So even if you don't know your plans, you can always like cancel and yeah. rebook it for a different one if you like want to change it because some of them did like get booked pretty yeah. fast. And it was good to have like a itinerary, like a semi itinerary of like, oh, okay, we woke up, we're like, okay, we, we know we want to be to this show by seven, this show by 10, having some basic outline of the day, which was really nice. Yeah. And because there's so many things going on mm -hmm. um, and we still even miss some stuff. And I feel like we did like two to three shows every day. Sure. Yeah. So day seven, we were at sea most of the day until we got to Ibiza at eight o'clock at night. And which is really cool is they, they ported it in Ibiza at 8 o'clock at night, didn't leave until 8 o'clock the next day, so they let you have a party night in Ibiza. And, but that day, before we got there, that was the day we did the gay brunch. So oh, yeah. They so had fun. They had a brunch. You paid, that one we didn't have to pay for, it was $65. You mm. booked it when you got on the ship, and then it was just $65, but it included the brunch and the mimosas. Bottomless the mimosas. And it was bottomless mimosas. And it was so all the really drag drunk. queens sing, saying live. It wasn't lip yeah, syncing. that was really cool. And it was some of them that we've already seen throughout the week. Yeah, and so. then after the brunch, I know we went by the pool, and we were just dancing, and, you know, that's when we were just yeah. living with friends and stuff. And then everyone, you know, there was this glitter box nightclub in Ibiza that every one it was talking about and there was a, you pay through the ship and they take they bus you there and you get a t your ticket and a free drink and mm -hmm. you know everyone talked it up and we got there and it we hated it it was literally just straight people all not even straight people it's just tons of really drunk like 20 something year old girls yeah just half of the half of them looked passed out it was just like going to a straight club in vegas but yeah. just like younger but also the waters were bad so we couldn't even get off the ship until like 10 yeah Oh, right. No, so, we, we got off at like nine, right? Yeah, but we were back on the ship by like two, and then we just hung out on the yeah. ship and then went to bed. Like, I don't know. It was, yeah. That was probably like the one dud night. Yeah, we initially thought that, oh, we were going to we get off and go to Ibiza, go to the nightclub, like maybe get a hotel and yeah. stay up at night and like go to the beach. And we just hated the, that like event so much that we went back. We got back at like 3 a.m. Like, what wasn't much going on. And everybody who was back, like, kind of was disappointed, too. Yeah. And then the next day, I was like, I'm just sleeping in. And I'm, like, eating breakfast, enjoying the pool on the ship, and enjoying, like, our last day instead yeah. of, like, going back to Ibiza. <laughs> yeah, well, it, um, <clears throat> yeah, because there was a beach. There's a beach that people were talking about going to. And they said the weather was bad but there. The weather was yeah. bad. So we just stayed on the boat on day eight. While we were ported in Ibiza, and that was still so much fun. Yeah, I had a blast. Yeah, we just stayed on the boat. We hung out with everyone. A lot of people didn't get off the boat because yeah. the weather was kind of not that great. Yeah. So people did say they had fun at that beach, but yeah. we had just as much fun staying on the boat. So yeah, because the sun was out, and where we were, the weather was kind of nice. So I just we just laid. But it was out. still a little cloud. It wasn't like yeah. super sunny. I remember yeah. that we we're like, ah, oh, we don't need to get off the boat. So, and then that night was the big white party that they do every year. So it's just, you know, typical gay white party. We were just in Speedos. Um, and a harness. And a harness, but. <laughs> I guess, what, what was mine? Like a crop top. Oh, yours was so cute. It was yeah. from the store on the boat. Yeah. And so that night we ended up pulling an all-nighter. And that was the only night we pulled an all-nighter. And we woke up the next day. And we, we, didn't we didn't wake up the we next day. <laughs> we, we just, we, what, we stayed up and then we. We went, stayed up, we went to our room and we 
got breakfast. Yeah, and we then, hung out with some boys. Let's be honest. Yeah, we, we hung out with some boys, and then <laughs> we decided that we we're not gonna go to bed. We're not gonna go to bed. It's already like nine o'clock. And so we're like, we ah. went out. We went and got Starbucks, and we yeah. laid. We went and got launchers at the pool and laid at the pool. Well, and one of the friends we had met had a cabana, so yeah. we just hung out at his cabana. So they ended up getting up to you and meeting us, and we hung out there. And then there was like a sunset party, like closing party at, mm-hmm. as the sun went down, and we stayed for that. And then um, it was the disco party, the disco tea dance. Yeah, that disco last tea day. dance. And then we went that night. We had back to back shows. First, it was oh the erotic show. Erotic, yeah, yeah. the erotics. Yeah. So yeah. that they do every cruise too. It's this group of it's a burlesque um, aerial show, um, and basically there's like six guys, and they do a bur- burlesque numbers. There's like six numbers, and it's yeah. just um, like they they're like naked in some like dancing yeah. in paint, and but the lights are off and the paint's neon, so like you can't like see that you yeah. see that they're naked, but you can't like see them. Yeah, like, so they, like they're maybe, swinging but. from the ceilings. You know, they're in a. They're in a tub, like, doing stuff with water. Yeah. It was a really, yeah. really so cool. So burlesque acrobatic show. It was great. They do it every time. I've yeah. seen it before. Um, but it was always great to see. So we did yeah. that. And then, and there then was a magician yeah. after that. Who he was really cool. Really cool. His stuff that he did was so little. Like, it wasn't, like, super showy or extravagant, but it was so cool. At the end, it was the main comedian of the week. He does, like, the last laugh, the closing show, mm-hmm. where he, you know, there's a chat group on, what app is that? Uh, Telegram. Telegram, <laughs> where everybody pretty much on the ship is like, you know, the chat is very inappropriate, but, um, you know, people look and hook up, all this stuff, but people send crazy photos, people send pictures of their food, like, f- from worst to best kind of Yeah, like, come meet me in my room, my whole he's, sweaty. He's been watching stuff on the ship all week, and he's yeah. been looking at the Telegram chat all week, and he pretty much just gets up there and just has screenshot at these messages and just reads into people and it is really really good yeah and we got front row seats for those three yeah. shows because they were all in the same theater mm-hmm. so we and we were, but we were on no sleep that night but we were we were we were on our last we were leg on, we were on our last leg but it was like this is the last night these are some good shows they were yeah. all amazing yeah. the comedian even called us out you know, in the front of the audience, like he yeah. looked at me and he's like, see, you're, you're really pretty, but you look like you're probably fucking stupid. To <laughs> talk to. You know? And I was like, please don't talk to me right now. Cause I'm on no sleep. But, um, yeah, overall it was a great time. Yeah. And you know, we didn't even go to that last party that night. We were so tired. So we went back, fell asleep, woke up, threw our stuff in a bag and got off the ship. Yeah. They kick you off like right between like seven and nine. They have yeah. a schedule of, you know, they, they're like, you're off. Yeah. So, it was good that we got sleep that night, and yeah. but so overall, how much was it per person? Um, the our room was twenty eight hundred each, and yeah. that was kind of like a mid sized room. You know, yeah. they're the first set of rooms. I think go for like thirteen hundred. Yeah, and I'd say I'd say we paid a, around two grand on getting there, flights wise. Yeah, um, and then on the boat, my bill for the room was fifteen hundred. Mine was or thirteen hundred. Mine was thirteen hundred. Okay, mine was two thousand. Yeah, but you bought like eight hundred dollars. A of lot clothes. of clothes. Yeah, <laughs> but like you know, my my. I didn't buy eight hundred dollars worth of clothes. Yeah. I spent eight hundred dollars on clothes that were marked up. So like yeah. it should have been like well, three hundred dollars like and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, one of the most expensive things was the Wi Fi. If you want to get the Wi Fi, that was two hundred fifty dollars each. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of what I spent was just like you know a drink here. I upgraded dinner a couple times. The gay brunch. You know, just little things. Clothes. Like, if there's a theme yeah. party and you don't have something and you run down to yeah. buy it, you know, yeah. all that stuff. Like, the cheapest Speedo is like 100 yeah. bucks. But you could, yeah. you know, you could get on the boat and not spend any money, mm-hmm. you know, if you just did, you know, everything that was included. And, and we could have had a great time. Like, I didn't yeah. have to have the Wi-Fi, yeah. but I wanted the Wi-Fi. We didn't both have to have it. But no. I mean, I needed to have it because of our Airbnb. Yeah. There, um, just for what we do in life, we needed yeah, it. Yeah, we needed it. But, I know but not people, everybody did it. Yeah, I know some people that didn't do the Wi-Fi or just yeah. one person would do the Wi-Fi. There's so yeah. much to do on that boat, and that's why we wanted to come and talk about it because there's all the parties, and we met a bunch of great people, and we met some cute boys, and we made yeah. a lot of great memories. I honestly say it's one of my favorite vacations I've ever taken, and yeah. it was so fun. Everyone that we talked to was 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 would have been happy with one or two more days. Yeah, I didn't need to like 
party, but I just didn't want to get off the boat. Like I was. Yeah, just we got really nice tans. Yeah. You know, we were we used the gym a few times, and you know, yeah. I didn't eat the healthiest, but I honestly came back looking pretty the, much the same. So I wasn't <laughs> super disappointed in myself. There, no, because we were dancing and doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, and dancing we, and yeah, walking. Yeah, and, and walking around yeah. and. But if you have any questions for us about the cruise or experiences that we have, or if you want us to do a video on any certain aspect of it. You know, we're definitely willing to do that. It was a 10-day cruise, and we did a lot, and it's hard to fit it all into one video. We kind of wanted to just give a little synopsis of our experience and, mm. you know, show that there is a lot of things to do besides just party every night. Party Which, and have you know, sex. we did party a lot and have sex a lot, but we also, we made it to most of the, you know, plays and shows and, yeah, all you the know, other stuff. met a lot of really great people who I think we're going to be friends with for a while, and... You know, it just was a very positive experience. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people don't speak volumes to the the good it, that it does do as well as much as the right. partying. So. Yeah. so that's what we got for today. So we'll be back next week with another video on something. But yeah, on something. something. <laughs> but take on care. More sex. More we sex. will see you soon. All right. Bye.